Togozani, Bokukonabum Kulu, Togozani, 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 Togozani. Uh, welcome to my channel. I am Koko Malanzela. And um, to everybody who has already subscribed to my channel, thank you very, very much. And to all those who have not yet subscribed, guys, please do subscribe and click the notifications button so that you get the latest in all the content we have in store for you. So today, I'd really like to just dive into the topic. Um, today, I would just like to discuss the, my own personal eight blockages that stop people from following through with their calling. Um, and here it goes. Number one, it's fear. The fear of not knowing, the fear of what will happen, the fear of the experience, the fear. Anything that's got to do with the fear, the fear of that. That can stop somebody and prohibit them strongly from following through with the things that they need to do because by asaba. And oksaba can be a good thing, oksaba can be a bad thing. So it's how you therefore then use that in which you feel in order to help you harness the things that you need to go and engage in. So be careful of fear. Number two, batu what will people say syndrome? Now, in this whole life thing, I have come and I've learned that people will always be people and people will always have something to say. Is it good? They have something to say about it. Is it bad? They have something to say about it. Is it in your favor? They have something to say about it. Is it against you? They have something to say about it. So take it with a pinch of salt, Duguti. Uh, before Utuasa, after Utuasa, somebody will have something to say. It's important that you yourself don't become overwhelmed uh, by the things that people are saying about you. Don't do that to yourself. Number three, lifestyle. So are you ready to make the necessary changes? Do you want to let go of certain things in order for you to harness new things for your new life that you are about to partake in according to your understanding? Um, if you're not really willing to let go of Abu Friday night, Abu Thursday, Pusa Thursday, Nabo Banbani, and whatever else is out there, if you're not ready to let go of that, is Otingi in Zen. Number four, the reason why Abantu, when they twasa or twasa Wabantu, um, it comes in different forms. Guna la wabatwasela because baya gula, abanya batwasela wat, abanya batwasela wat, abanya batwasela wat. So everybody's reason is not the same. That's why when na ikos la kuliyo chel wuti, what are you supposed to be doing? What are you not supposed to be doing? Even though unami abo malanza la abayok Caesar with the messages that they come with, it's important to wuti na we u. Lalele uti isi za tu zaabo Zo uti wena uze la Yee um, Number five Alignment How do you align yourself With your calling How do you align yourself with the things That you're supposed to be doing with regards To your calling So are you meditating We are pasha We are tandaza We are kula We are kita What are you doing to align yourself with all these messages that keep coming through, all these dreams that keep coming through. How do you align yourself and then talk to your ancestors and say, Ay, Banda Badala, I can hear you. Logo na logo na logo na logo. How do you communicate? How aligned are you with your ancestors? And that, that, that lack of alignment, the lack of alignment between when Namazos Wako, because you, you in the flesh cannot want to go the one direction and then Amatruzuanko want to go in another. So you need to be able to be in a space to humble yourself, to follow through with what you have been called to do. I logo kufunwa uwe. I logo kutandwa uwe. Auzenza anga. Lobu nyanga lobu. Auz niganga bona. Lo, 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 pilisa lo, awuz niganga bona. So you need to be led in a way that you can comprehend what kuenza galani and what needs to happen. Number six, attitude. 
E attitude your mundu can stand in the way of a lot of things, good or bad. Um, and if it's with regards to your calling, uh, if you have to, for example, walk barefoot, and then when I because of whatever, you mean I don't walk barefoot, I will never. Ow! Hi, your calling number seven how do you perceive yourself how do you feel about yourself it's very very important and this is before utwasa and after if you are about to go through or are in need or are in the process of going through with your spiritual calling. How you feel about what you are doing is important. Because at least you need to be open-minded and open-hearted. Because there's been so many superstitions really on yeah, what what there's been so many superstitions from the past till now. It's important for you to have a certain way that you feel about you before and after your process because how you feel about yourself will be even seen in the works that you're doing. It will be seen in the works that you're doing. Last but not least, number eight, your belief. Do you understand? Do you believe in what you're doing? Do you, are you, are you willing to stand by what you believe in? Are you willing to die for what you believe in? Because it is your belief. So with all these eight things I just wanted to share. Um, the things that prohibit people from fully following through with the things that they need to do. And if you could at least as an individual try and work on these things and try and have a much better understanding, where you don't understand, go and ask. Where you don't get the truth, go consult. So that when you start, you are already well informed you are already prepared everything that you are feeling at that point in time is things that you are aware of and which will only do you some good in the process of your journey because before and after there's, there's a thing that we call before and after and if your life before is full of Hey, I mean, I'm going to do lenders or bangani, genzaini, I'm gonna go with the crowd, eh? Hey, what? Masalikbiza ge ishows. Likbiza. It will take you out of all those things which you think you have planned. So it is important, guys. Listen to your ancestors. Listen to them. Ask them, plead with them. If you need them to help you. With your fear, ask them. Because they are the best directors to what your lineage needs. So, I hope this video was informative. I hope we've learned something. And please, guys, in the comment section, if there are any other blockages that you you have experienced or you think other people are experiencing uh please do share with us uh, let's talk about them let's let's share some insight and see what is from one another and that is the most important thing so uh, thank you very much for viewing my video continue to do so i am